welcome back to the channel and today is going to be a retired lego star wars haul it's been really awesome i've waited like just over a week for all of this to turn up um two different sellers i'm going to quickly go through what i got at the very end i will kind of stop the video and then you guys can actually guess how much it all costs because or like what you would pay for it so first of all we're going to start off with ray's speeder so i basically wanted to buy an a-wing for the mock that i've got going on here um and the seller was selling like loads of lego so i just picked up a load off him it kind of made it cheaper because he had like 10 percent off if you bought two or more items or something like that but i've always wanted ray's speeder and i've finally got it i'm going to take some really cool photos of it the Ray minifigure that I built is really awesome. Like I really like her mask. It's it's awesome. And then like a really tiny little build, but it just does it does it for me. It does the job. Um, yeah, I won't tell you the price now, but again, really happy that I finally got Ray's speeder. So unfortunately, there's no box with this one, but it is the A wing. I don't know exactly what year or whatever it was, but it's red and white. It's got a calamari guy in it um so yeah it's in a bag but again an a-wing that's that's why i that's the reason why i'm standing here and doing this video now i needed one a-wing to basically just complete the mock um and yeah i ended up spending a bit more than just an a-wing what an absolute beauty this set is like i've already got the ucs x-wing i've got the 2021 or 2022 whenever it came out basically the latest x-wing i've got that as well but this was a ridiculously good deal and it was so like look at the box it's gorgeous this box art is amazing and there is the minifigure the jack porkins finally got that minifigure which is awesome so again we've got this oh it's just look, darth mullet there what like come on it's such beautiful that's the thing right lego sort of get me with the box art and probably a lot of other people as well like the box art kind of just like does it for you it just looks so cool like you got the tie fighters in the background as well i mean look at that the box art is just absolutely stunning so yeah that was from a different seller so i got the ray speeder and the a wing and then something else from one seller and this was sold separately with another seller as well it's it's absolutely beautiful I, as soon as i bought it i was like right i need to build it because it's a set that i've needed again for the mark and here it is looking absolutely beautiful really nice x-wing like flying in oh, it just looks absolutely stunning there so yeah it's I, I kind of like the classic look of it it's kind of got like not a lot of like really cool looking pieces it kind of is just built like simple brick on brick but there's something about the classic version of the x-wing it just looks absolutely fantastic and obviously the big boy x-wing that i've got just behind the camera there yeah it's it's just awesome i love x-wings there's something about i think that's like as soon as i think of star wars i think of an x-wing this wasn't included in the haul but i just want to show off this uh beautiful ucs x-wing i absolutely love it so it's been quite a good haul like we've got the ray speeder we've got a wing we've got an x-wing but i had to finish it off and i was kind of like do you know when you purchase something and it's like super cheap and then you find something else to kind of like justify buying that. So I saw the A-Wing for a certain price. So I was like, oh, that's so cheap. Let's have a look at what other Lego sets this guy's got going on. And of course I picked up the Ray uh, Speeder just to like top up the little, you know, I've got a lot of Lego for a certain amount of price. But then there was one other set that was just like, I feel like I need it. Um, I've already got a version of the set behind me in the Lego room somewhere, but there was something about the box art. It was super cheap. Oh yeah, look at how gorgeous this is. I have already got an 8080 on my half diorama that I've got going on there. I am rebuilding it. As you can see, there's a space there because this guy, as soon as I saw this, I was like, yeah, I think I need to like switch up my diorama so I can fit two 8080s on there now. But this was just, it's beautiful. It's its, it's another 8080. Like as soon as I got it out the uh, packaging, my fiance was like, haven't you already got one of them? Like, why do you need another one? And I was like, 
it's not the same version. It's a different style of 8080, but look at the box art, man. Like Darth Vader at the top there. And it's definitely a bit, like I think it's a few studs smaller than the other 8080. Yeah, so I think it's like four, five, six studs smaller um, as in like lengthwise, but oh, that is a beauty. That is an absolute beauty. Really, really nice. Look at the back as well. Box art is just, again, I think that's what did it for me. Like, so I picked up the A-Wing and then I saw these two beautiful box art sets and I was like, well, I may as well buy them as well. Like just to kind of have, yeah, I didn't really need to buy it, but come on guys, like it's Lego. Like you, th these sort of things you have to do, you have to do. I finally picked up a Lego vacuum cleaner as well. I have taken it out, it's on charge at the moment. Um, but hopefully, hopefully this will sort out a bit of the dust that is building up in the Lego room. Like I have got dehumidifier, I do open the windows, I do clean every other Sunday, but there's like a few times where I'm like, oh, okay, that, that, I've missed it. That's really dusty, like the Falcon here. So yeah, I picked up one of them just to sweep over and see wherever pieces and bits of Lego that needs dusting. Like, yeah, I'm kind of looking closer. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna wait for this to charge. I'm gonna have some fun cleaning all the Lego. So obviously if you guys wanna have a bit of fun, let me know down in the comments now, how much you think this all cost. Um, like I said, there was two different sellers three sets off one seller, one set off the other seller. And yeah, before I say the price, let me know down in the comments how much you would have paid for that on the secondhand market. All pieces, all minifigures, box instructions. The only thing that was missing was the box for the A-Wing. Everything else was there complete. I spent 106 pound, 106 pound, 106 pound on all this. That's an A-Wing in there, if you're just tuning in now or you've kind of gone and made a coffee and come back to the video. There's an A-Wing in there. But yeah, £106, which to a lot of people, it is a lot of money. Like, just to splash £106 on sets that you don't need. But for collectors and people that kind of, like, have that sort of money, like, £106 for all of this is a no-brainer. It was a absolutely fantastic deal. I've n probably never used the word fantastic. That's how excited I am. This 8080 just looks unreal. The X-Wing was so beautiful to build as well. It looks amazing on this mark as well, which, which is coming up soon, guys. It is coming up soon. Um, again, I have started building the mark, but I'm kind of like pushing it back to when my little one is born. Um, don't know if you guys know, but yeah, I'm having a little baby, another second, two little boys, awesome. Um, so I'm basically trying to like build this mark around for when he kind of comes. So then I have like stuff to send out on YouTube because I'm probably not gonna be able to make 10, 20 minute, 15 minute videos on uh, YouTube when I have two children. But yeah, 106 pound, let me know down in the comments. One, would you pay 106 pound for all this? And did I get a good deal? I think I did. It's it's awesome. I absolutely love the secondhand market, especially Vinted. Vinted is amazing. Facebook marketplace, but you have to kind of be local to go get these awesome deals. Unfortunately, I never have, I never really have any good local deals around my area. Um, but yeah, Vinted, sometimes eBay, depends if you get people like bidding crazy amounts because they know what they're buying. But most of the time, you get people that don't know what they're buying or selling and yeah on vintage you get really awesome deals and you get all this for 106 pound so guys thank you so much for watching another video please subscribe to the channel drop a thumbs up on the video if you think i scored with this amazing deal and yeah thank you so much for sticking around watching another video stay tuned for more thank you so much subscribe to the channel see you around